Hey guys, while I'm waiting for my cheese to hang, I thought I'd show you a really quick way of how to use up your whey. What I did was um, when I poured um, the whey off of my curds from the top of the farmhouse cheddar I made, I reserved the whey into this pot right here. So all I'm doing now is I'm just heating it up and I'm trying to get it to 190 degrees, which it almost is. It's almost 290 degrees. Let's go ahead and check the temperature right here. Yep, it's 190 right now. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take this off the heat. And I have pre-measured some half a cup of white distilled vinegar, any kind of vinegar you want. Some people use lemon juice. And then you just pour the vinegar in, stir it in, make sure it's all combined really well. And then you just cover it and let it sit for 15 minutes. And then we'll pour it through a cheesecloth lined colander, okay? And then you have maybe, you probably get about two cups of ricotta from this amount of whey. And basically this is something, unless you have animals, you just be pouring right down the drain. Um, we do, I do save a lot of it for our pigs and chickens and stuff like that, but I'm gonna make some stuffed shells so I wanted some ricotta this time around. So I'll bring you back when it's time to strain it. All right, so it's sat for 15 minutes. We're ready to go ahead and strain it off. Sometimes this takes a little while to strain out. You have to pour in batches. Usually the first part of it is just whey, and then you'll start to see in the pieces of cheese come towards the end. Yeah, you can kind of see it coming out of my mouth. Pour as much as you can into your strainer. All right, and that's it. You just let it sit here and it'll strain. And then once um, it gets to the consistency you like, you can just mix in some salt and pop it in the fridge and you're good to go. And if you wanna make it into like more like a cheese consistency, you can hang it overnight and it will drain out more of the whey and it will be a different consistency. But I like it a nice soft cheese, so it's probably about 30 minutes and it'll be ready to put in the fridge. Hope you guys give this a shot with your leftover whey from your cheese making. All right guys, so this ricotta has been draining for a while. This is the, the texture that I want it to be right here. If you want it to be any thicker, you can um, just hang it. You can you know tie the corners of your cheesecloth and hang it up. So I'm just going to scoop it out of this cheesecloth and I'm gonna put it in this container and then I'll salt it. You don't have to salt it, um, but I find that it lasts a little bit longer if you salt it because salt is a preservative and it gives it a little bit of flavor too, I think. So I plan to mix this with some of our homegrown sausage and homegrown and canned tomato sauce and some stuffed shells. I did buy the pasta shells. I have no idea how to make those. I guess I could make it into sheets and make it kind of like a manicotti type thing. I guess it's not really called a manicotti, but that's what my mom used to call them. We're, we weren't Italian, so that's why I pronounced this ricotta. My husband is comes from an Italian background, so they kind of laugh at me when I do that. So I'm just gonna put maybe a teaspoon of salt there. This is canning salt just because I had it right there from earlier. I don't know, you. since this is a fresh cheese, it probably wouldn't be wrong to use just regular table salt. But don't quote me on that, I don't know. Okay, so this, and this will firm up a little bit once I put it in the fridge, and we're good to go. There's some whey ricotta.